What's poppin? My name is Richie and today I'm going to show you guys five amazing things that you can build yourself with the newest updates in Fortnite. Um, this includes the 16.0 and the 16.10 version of Fortnite since we've got two new devices and there's actually a lot that you can do with these devices that Epic not really tells you in the first moment you see these devices. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Starting with number one, we have the new barriers and the possibilities that you can have with it. So first of all, if you're unaware, the new barriers here are now a prop version. So there's an old version uh, which you can basically only put on um, put on tiles, right? So you can only put it down like if you put something down like this, and which makes it like really not versatile. And it was only made to use to actually create barriers. Um, Nonetheless, it has still a few nice options in here. So you have all these nice, nice colored options. But the cool thing is you also have the same options on the movable ones, which means you can basically create whatever you want. And to top it all off, the barrier has a nice option which allows you to disable and enable the barrier, which means it disappears or appears. So if you, for example, put in channel 1 in here and channel 2, this barrier will appear on channel 1 and disappear on channel 2. Now, in the end effect, this means you can build whole houses just out of barriers and make them appear or disappear. Or you can even build full-on uh, platform slash terrain out of these uh, out of these barriers, uh, which you can then make as disappear or appear. Uh, this means you can build like full zone wars maps which change. You can build like full structures which just you know with the click of a button fully disappear or appear. And I think this is really cool. So, as an example, I built this little house. I know, it's not the most beautiful house by any means, but you can see already, like, just using, like, three different patterns of this device, you can already create something really cool looking. And the cool thing is you can go, like, here, open the door, and then you're like, cool, this is fine, and then you can even completely hide the house if you want to. So, there's, like, endless possibilities, and I'm pretty sure that some pretty correct people can make some really cool shit out of this. And I'm excited to see what you can do with this, so definitely let me know if you created something. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is actually something that you might have missed in the last update, in the 16.10 update, because apparently this was just added there and it was not even in the patch notes. So if you go into the um, into the player reference device, which was added like a while back ago, um, there's a new option here, which is hologram effect strains. And this allows you to actually make this weird hologram look into a real player look, which I think is amazing. I don't know why this wasn't in before, but this is amazing. Now that your NPCs and your characters can look so much cooler. Um, remember, you can obviously, I have tons of videos on this device. Like there's a full video on what you can do with this device. And with this and with this new option, you can make a lot of re more realistic and realistic in terms of Fortnite, but more realistic and more clean looking um, NPCs. Uh, I think this is an amazing update. And I'm not sure why they put that in there or why they didn't put it in the patch notes. Um, if you want to have this like zero uh, hologram effect, all you have to do is put it to zero here, so to off actually, uh, and it will have this effect. If you put it to 200, this will have the maximum hologram effect, um, and it looks even more scuffed. Um, but I think this is a really cool option that you might have missed, and I think it's very interesting. When we are to number three, we have the new health power-up, and this device has so many possibilities, and I'm going to show you two actually in this video. Um, but first of all, starting off with the uh, just custom prop-making possibilities that you have. So first of all, this device has six different options on how this can look. Um, there are the two main options. Let me quickly put you guys out this here. So there's the main option, which is health only. Then we have shield only, which is the blue shield. And then we have both, which is just like... Uh, weird thing, which is technically nothing really different, but it is, it is a different option. And then you can even go further and change all of these into different colors. So you can have flat increase, like everything that is increased is green, everything that is decreased is red, and everything that is uh, set to is gray. And this even makes up for so much cool stuff that you can build with this. Uh, for an example, I built this like little like shrine here. Um, you can see I just basically put in like a bunch of like these red ones so you can see them like um, Let's just get this one here So the cool thing is that you can rotate them and they will like kind of rotate in a different uh, Direction so if I do it like this you can see that you can create this like endless loop of things And then if you put for example in this case here, I have um, let's see if I can actually get it out there um, Probably not, but there is like a little Kevin uh, piece in there so it looks like there's something mysterious inside of this uh, thing. And then also the cool effect. Um, I think if you just take this away for a second, this down here destroys it a lot. So you probably need something that covers that up. But other than that, you can have some really cool effects. Like for example, this one right here, um, it looks clean, 
uh, but you can make it like look really cool and really different. Okay, moving into number four, um, you can actually create some really cool mechanics with this new device, which basically doesn't have anything to do with powering up someone's health. Um, so I created just like little game here from uh, from Wipeout, you can say, uh, and this is super easy to create. All you need is basically some creativity to you know make this up, and then you need the health power up. So you can basically use health, shield, or both. Um, and what you can do is, for example, let's take the health one here. Uh, so what this device would do is basically it will crack down your health. So if you have flat decrease, that means you get minus health. And you can see in this case, we have minus 20. So if you put that to like, let's say 100, you will die if you hit it. And um, what you can do now is go here and just scale it down like this. So you put this one down and then you scale it up in the length. So like this. So now it looks like this, and this is a different version from this one because I scaled this one in the other direction, but you can see where this is going. So now all you have to do basically is get one of, uh, I don't know, get something that looks like a pillar or something, and you now have your own mini game. So now people can do this like jump over here or something. Uh, obviously, if you want to have a bigger vision, then you, I would recommend doing it like sideways here, like uh, this one. Um, but you get the point. It is super simple to create something very unique and simple like this. Uh, and it doesn't take long. Obviously, you should probably make it a little bit more appealing to people like I made here, but uh, you get the point. It is... Okay, moving on to number five, we have the last one, which is more on the mechanic side, and a lot of people already know about this, but I quickly want to cover it and how to do it and how to quickly do it. Um, and I also want to say this was possible before, but now with the new barriers, this is like a lot easier and a lot more versatile in terms of what you can do. Um, so with that being said, you can now create forced movement. Uh, so what that means, this is like, you know, going up an elevator, moving from left to right, and that all being forced by the barriers. So how this would work is basically you stack some barriers in the upwards direction or sideways, whatever you want, and then you have to link them all up. Um, so I can show you guys how this looks and then I'll show you how it works. So you can see here, this is just a tiny example, like with four uh, barriers, so it just doesn't move you that far. But you can see these Maria barriers are basically pushing each other one by one. And if a player stands up on here or below it, whatever, um, the player gets pushed uh, one up every time. And you can obviously push this like way bigger than I just did here. Um, but the thing is, it is super easy to create and you can, as I said, you can create elevators, you can create side pushes, uh, you can create all very unique and interesting stuff that wasn't really possible before or it wasn't like really limited in terms of what you can do. Um, but with this new barrier, which is super thin, you can create very smooth uh, you know, animations or transitions or whatever. And this makes it even more uh, flawlessly in the end project. Okay, so how you can do this yourself? Um, it is very easy. You need the barrier device and in terms of where you want to push, you have to obviously set it up. So for my case, I want to push up, so I'm going to make it the smallest here. You can obviously make it a lot smaller and make it like even tinier and more th smoother, but it obviously takes longer. In terms of this video, we're going to make it quick. Um, so all you have to do is go down here and then look for the enable and disable channels. And what you want to do is basically put in channel 1, for example, for the enable and channel 2 for disable. What you want to do then is go and copy this, uh, scale it up one depending on how smooth you want to have it. So what you then want to do is go here, copy and paste this and just put it one up. You can have it as uh, clean as you want. You don't have to do it in like 32 grid or whatever. Um, but what you need to do is here, go into this one. You see, this is from the old one. And what we want to do now is the, the one that was disabled before here, I want to put that to two. And then we want to have disable three on a new one. And then you're going to continue doing that. So let's do this with four again. So we have the, the same thing here. Um, Let's quickly put, put, push that in here. Same thing, go in here, three, four. And then last but not least, we have four and five. So next thing you want to do, if you want to loop this, I would highly recommend using a sequencer. Um, so in a sequencer, this is a little bit of like um, trying out yourself on how fast you want to have it. But um, I found out 20 is a good one. Uh, there's nothing like, it's not, nothing too fast, but nothing too slow, I would say. And then you can put uh, looping to infinite or whatever you want to put in here. Uh, put the length on how many things you have here. And then what you want to do is put in trigger devices. Um, so first of all, you start out by channel one here. So this is channel one. So this enables the first one. And then if it rolls over, channel two disables uh, the uh, first one and enables the second one. And then you keep going. And then if you want to loop it, make sure that the last one is not the last uh, thing. So for example, we have channel four here, which is enabling the last um, top one here. 
So you can see here, channel four, right? And channel five needs to be at the beginning. So that means um, the last, whatever you have is like whatever number that is, you have to put it up on the first one as well. Um, so it makes basically makes sure that uh, it loops uh, and doesn't like get stuck in the last one. So uh, that is all you have to do. Then set up uh, a sequencer. You can enable that via a trigger. So start sequence, uh, for example, channel six, and then you just put a trigger or a button anywhere. And then all you have to do is jump here and the sequence will start. And that is all you have to do. It is super simple to create, um, but super effective and can make your map so much more unique and different. All right, so that is it with the video. Uh, hopefully I could inspire you a little bit. Hopefully I could teach you something new. Uh, you know, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys back in the next video. Bye.